There, good evening, and the devastation overwhelming on the island here. In fact, I want to give you a look at some of what teams are dealing with right now. You can see the ash, the rubble, the crumbled cinder block here. This type of scene scenario playing out in some areas for miles, entire neighborhoods swallowed by the flames. Recovery teams continue to pour into the area and are working through situations like this trying to find anything they can in this rubble and unfortunately uncovering at times victims from the fire. Unfortunately, the governor believes the number of dead here is going to grow and perhaps significantly. He says it's going to be a long and meticulous process searching through the ash and rubble uh, like you see behind us here that could take another 10 days or more. Uh, that while there are hundreds of families uh, who have lost everything here, displaced and uh, really with nowhere to go long term. Many staying outside of the burn zone with relatives or friends or in shelters which continue to grow here. But there are a thousand people or more still missing. Now, some of those may have lost their phone or haven't communicated at this point. That's obviously the hope. But again, the governor believes uh, that the death toll here will climb. But what you hear from a lot of those who are struggling here right now is that they will be back and they are committed to making sure they bring this area back. It is going to be a long haul in some areas, more than a year. Uh, they say that they are ready to make that happen. It's a situation that continues to unfold and will continue to follow it. For now, though, I'm Jay Gray on Maui. Back to you.